Som Chin Kui. Please be seated. The court is now back in session. Reprise de débat. I hand over the floors to the defense team uh, for the uh, uh, to resume for uh, questioning. Coupe, you may uh, proceed. Um, thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, Council. And good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Uh, before the lunch break, um, I was asking you questions about uh, Tavao. Um, before I go to ask you some questions about his arrest, uh, there's one other issue I would like to discuss with you in relation to uh, Tavao. Um, in your recollection, was Taval an intellectual? Taval était-il un intellectuel? Taval, réponse. Taval, to my knowledge, à ma connaissance, was that They uh, would arrest anybody regardless of uh, whether they were educated or not, so long as they were in the cadre's rank. Um, I'm not sure if I got the translation right. Um, so I'll repeat my question. Uh, in your recollection, was Taval himself an intellectual? Taval était-il un intellectuel? No, I Réponse. I did not know that. Je ne le savais pas. What What do you mean? You You, you did not know that. You You, you knew Taval. You Question. spoke with him. Que voulez-vous dire um, par cela? Vous connaissiez Taval, vous lui aviez parlé. What was, the, what was his original profession? Um, Quelle était sa profession he, euh, uh, avant Somebody, a person like what you called an intellectual. Was he an intellectual un intellectuel Réponse. When I got to know him, uh, it was not because he was in my hometown, and I did not have any idea whether or not he was educated or uneducated. I, I, I did not know. Do you know whether he was a teacher originally? s'il était enseignant avant? Uh, in the past, I got to know him because he was in charge of uh, military. Je connu and when I was admitted to um, the armies under his command, uh, people told me that uh, he was Taval and he was the commander. And as for his level of education, I did not have any knowledge of. And I never saw him writing anything either. Uh, do you know whether he Question. spoke French? Savez-vous, saviez-vous s'il parlait français? At the time, nobody was allowed to speak à foreign language. No matter how uh, senior uh, you were, uh, you were not allowed to uh, speak foreign uh, languages. And at that time, people had to pretend, even if uh, they were educated, uh, that they uh, were uneducated, they were ignorant uh, in order to avoid being uh, taken away for execution. I will get back to that uh, in, a, in, a, in a second. Um, how about 
Tahun. Can I say the Tahun? Uh, the chief of Sector 5. The chef of Sector 5. Um, was he an intellectual? Was he an intellectual? As I inform uh, you, I did not know him. I only Comme actually dites, heard his name, pas, I only saw him, but as je for his level of Mais education, I could not uh, comment on it. I did not know what level of education he obtained. So you don't know whether he was a uh, professor si uh, who was able to speak French fluently? Et you don't know anything about that? No, I do not know. No. Because I never work uh, closely with him, then I could not uh, comment whether or not he was educated or was not educated. Um, let me also get back to that one, uh, Mr. Witness. I will now read to you an excerpt from a statement of a witness déposition. whom we will be hearing soon, so I will not give you his name, uh, but for the chamber it's T, uh, TCW918. Um, it's uh, document E3-9118. Uh, Four. Um, English ERN 00728657 and Khmer ERN 00734053. This witness um, is being asked a question about Tahun, and I will read the excerpt from his statement to a team and then ask for a reaction. Um, Tahun. Who was he? Tahun, qui était -il? And then the witness answered, he was the top intellectual. Il était la, he was la, not ignorant. La, la, Where did he come de, from? He, he was élevé. also from Tokyo. Where did he receive his education from? I don't know where he received his education from, but his talking was that of the level of educated people, not the ignorant. The ignorant speak in a different way. All students and intellectuals sent from Phnom Penh and put into the mobile units were called upon were called up to attend the meeting. And on the next page in English, whenever the intellectuals came came down there, he asked them to attend the meeting. He spoke very beautiful, uh, like educated people. Now, not only this excerpt I would like to read, but also an excerpt of another witness who is coming to testify uh, sometime later this week or next week, TCW 937. And, um, his statement is... Um, E, in, you can find it in E305 slash 13 slash 23 slash 306. Um, English ERN 00731124 and Khmer 007. The President, uh, Judge, you may proceed. Mettre copie, est-ce que vous pourriez Council, répéter les références please, de, de documents que vous venez de l'entendre de citer L'interprète n'a pas pu l'entendre. Je vais essayer de English ERN 00731123224 and command 00728797 okay. until 98. Um, and this is witness, uh, as I said, TCW 937. This witness um, is being asked a question about Taval. Uh, asked to describe Taval. Um, 
He first says that Taval was mean, but we know Donc, that already. Il dit que um, Taval he était méchant, thin. on le sait déjà qu'il était he mince. Came from Kampong Cham. Il venait de Kampong Cham. Uh, then there is a question about his Donc, hair, which is not very interesting. Cheveux, ce qui nous intéresse a little pas further down, he, it's as follows. Plus loin. Well, he was il dit absolute. Absolute. Il était absolute. 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 According to his behavior and speech, et son he might be a teacher. Parlait, il est possible qu'il était un enseignant. Teacher? Un enseignant? Yes. Because oui. he spoke French with Tahun. Il parlait en français Tahun avec Tahun. Tahun was a professor from Tahun Phnom Penh. Tahun était un professeur de Phnom Penh. Did he speak French when he met Tahun? Est-ce qu'il parlait français quand yes, il a rencontré Tahun? Yes, he spoke Tahun. French Réponse, when he oui. walked. Il parlait en français Did quand il marchait. Did you ever hear him speak David French with Tahun? David, you've never heard him speak French with Tahun. He spoke. I sometimes walked behind them il parlait, to monitor people derrière building derrière the dam. Eux. And what they did not want us to hear about, they spoke in French. And then further down, Taval was a professor from Phnom Penh. Having read these excerpts, does that somehow make you change your position, Mr. Witness? Vous changer, enfin, êtes-vous prêt à changer d'idée, monsieur le témoin I will, I will withdraw the Non, je retire ma question. The question. Mr. Witness, uh, can you give me your reaction to this excerpt that I just read to you? Ces deux extraits de déclaration que je viens de vous lire. Réponse. As for his uh, level of education, I maintain that je I cannot comment on it. Overall, I never worked uh, close uh, to him, so I cannot uh, comment. So I, I did not know whether or not he was educated, an educated si person. Well, um, then I will ask you uh, to give your reaction to something that I will read now. Que vous That's un an autre extract, extract que je vais vous lire. from um, also DC Camp statement E3-9004. Um, English en anglais, PRN 00984978. Khmer 007-30602. Now what's happening here is, at least in the English translation, donc, bon, um, anglais, du moins dans la anglaise, the DCCAM investigator speaks uh, to his witness. Du CDCAM parle avec ce témoin. Uh, they speak about Taval. Il parle de Taval. But apparently uh, a neighbor Mais of this interviewee is present, and she intervenes in the conversation, she says as follows, or he says as follows. I'm not sure they were in the army together, it was after they arrested Taman and Taval. They stayed with each other, they escaped from here to hide in the forest. What was his name? Latsoi. He knows clearly because they were in the army together. They were in the army together. You can ask him about the date and the month of Taman's arrest. And then the witness writes, when you ask me, I know nothing about that. I know nothing about the date and month. Did Latsoi stay with Tamung, Taval and Tasson? Yes, they stayed together. Oui, ils étaient ensemble. Mr. Witness, this Monsieur excerpt témoin, seems to indicate that you and Tamong and Taval and Tassorn knew each other from the army and stayed together. Dans et que is that correct ensemble. or is that not correct? Est exact ou non? Well, at that time, I did not uh, live uh, with them. I was uh, his subordinate, but I was stationed uh, in uh, different locations. But uh, he was working somewhere uh, in Phnom Liep. From the translation from this excerpt, it's not entirely clear, but were you called Taman? I uh, never heard of Taman, but I uh, 
Did Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de Tamang. Tamang. Mais j'ai entendu parler de Tamang. Uh, very well. Um, Question. Now let me turn to the arrest of Taval. Uh, Permettez-moi maintenant de parler de l'arrestation um, de Taval, Tamang and others. et d'autres. You gave testimony as to what happened at the Chopping Tamar Dam. Vous avez déposé sur les événements uh, de la construction uh, du barrage, de la Vous avez parlé des conditions de travail, des conditions sanitaires, et que tout cela était uh, de la responsabilité de Taval. Étiez-vous heureux d'apprendre que Taval avait été arrêté? When uh, Taval and his uh, cadres were Taval arrested, we were all frightened, arrêtés, and we consulted with each other that nous we had to uh, flee into nous, the uh, jungle, because if we were arrested, uh, we would uh, si be arrêté, executed. Uh, si nous arrêtés, nous then we exécutés. were very vigilant uh, nous, at the times, and we uh, tried to escape and to be uh, and avoid uh, being arrested. Please help me here, Mr. Witness. We have, I think, established that Taval was a vicious, mean killer. Um, he was finally arrested. Yet you were not pleased, but you were afraid for arrest yourself. How is that possible? Comment l'expliquez-vous? The President, Le Mr. Président. Witness, please uh, hold Monsieur on. Le Mr. Attendre. Prosecutor, you have the floor. La parole est au procureur. Uh, thank you. Uh, the, the question isn't seeking any sort Merci. of factual information Avec from this question, witness. Counsel is, seems to want to engage in an argument about Le the merits of the arrest of this person uh, and is premising his question on the assumption that Taval was arrested for what he did at Trapping Tamar when the exact opposite is the case. I mean, the position of the prosecution is that what has been proven is that Taval was carrying out the policies of the party at his arrest had nothing to do with what he did at Trapping Tamar, so the entire premise of this question is flawed. Uh, I agree there were multiple. I agree with uh, the prosecution that um, uh, the primary reason for his arrest was possibly something different. I will turn to that subject uh, in five minutes. But I think I'm, I'm entitled to ask the question um, if he can explain to us why at the time he wasn't relieved that this vicious killer was finally arrested. Why was he afraid that he himself would be arrested? That's the question. Uh, um, Council, please uh, make your question uh, as uh, simple and clear as possible so that it is easy for the witness to respond. I, I will split my uh, question in two. Mr. Witness, why were you not incredibly relieved that um, Taval was finally arrested? que Taval avait enfin été arrêté. Réponse. We uh, were not relieved uh, because uh, for the military um, rank, uh, if the senior leaders were uh, arrested, uh, we would be arrested uh, altogether and we would eventually be executed. Uh, that's why uh, we were uh, fearful and then uh, we uh, tried to um, escape. Uh, later on, actually, they arrested uh, other cadres down the rank and then we were even more frightened uh, afterwards. But, Mr. Witness, Question. we've heard from you this morning and témoin, yesterday that you were forced into the army, vous avez forcé uh, à that you had to follow orders, otherwise you would be killed. Si vous tué. Uh, you had nothing to fear. Vous rien à, vous Isn't that true? Vous rien à craindre, pas? Uh, 
Réponse. I am afraid I do not understand the question clearly. You have been testifying that you were forced into the Khmer Rouge army. That you just followed orders because otherwise you would be killed. Sinon, on vous aurait tué. We know Daval was a vicious killer himself. He was arrested. Daval lui-même était un tueur. Yet you yourself were afraid to be arrested. I just don't understand. Et pourtant, vous aviez peur d'être arrêté vous-même. Donc, je ne comprends pas. Bardai Phok Yom Phai Chakke Chab Khlun Ni. Frightened of being arrested because we were the soldiers subordinate to sector five and in the north west zone. And once the south west zones came, they arrested the cadres in the north west zone. So we were frightened of being arrested and killed by the north west zone. Let me ask it differently, and then I will move to a different subject. Maître Coppe, je vais poser la question différemment, et ensuite je passerai à un autre sujet. Were you yourself like Taval, a vicious killer? Étiez-vous comme Taval, un tueur sadique? The President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, you have the floor. There, there, there's no basis for putting this question to this witness, and again, it's based on a ridiculous premise that Pol Pot and Yun Che were arresting Taval because he was a vicious killer. That had absolutely nothing to do with it. This, this question, there's no basis to be asking this witness whether he was a vicious killer. If you want to ask back factual questions, great. You're engaging in argument. Mais là, il s'agit d'un argumentaire. Maître Coppel. I think it's a factual question. Were you a vicious killer? Yes or no? Then we. I'll move on to the next. Mais je passerai au prochain sujet. Mr. Prosecutor, I'll move on to the next. 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 Mr. Prosecutor, I'll move on to the next.
different kinds of other rifles, and then they are uh, stationed in the Konklein uh, jungle, and they are uh, stationed there for about uh, half a month, and then they uh, withdrew uh, to Swai, and they also brought together with their uh, machine guns. And then at the time, the southwest zones uh, lured them to uh, to uh, surrender themselves, and then they could arrest uh, all of them eventually. Where did these weapons Question. originally come from? That I uh, do not know. I only uh, saw them uh, with the uh, weaponries uh, when they Je left Swai. Um, have you ever heard Question. of um, weapons, arms, etc., uh, in a number of thousands uh, taken from um, former London military? In April 75, uh, and then de London, hit in secret places in the forest. Et qui avait été caché dans la forêt. That I uh, did not have the knowledge of because I was very young at the time. I only knew that when I uh, started joining the mobile unit. And, uh, uh, and when I uh, joined the army later on, I learned about that. And, and the weapons that you do know Question. about, do you know when you first heard about the existence of these uh, weapons uh, that were somewhere in the jungle? Fois, qui part dans la jungle? Question. 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 Before the arrival of uh, the Southwest Zone cadres, avant l'arrivée des cadres du Sud-Ouest, it was before uh, the arrival of the Southwest Zone. Leur arrivée. Did you know beforehand Question. that the Southwest Zone cadres would be coming Saviez to the Northwest Zone? Aviez-vous eu vent de l'arrivée des imminentes uh, des gens du Sud-Ouest? Avant qu'ils arrivent. Yeah, before uh, they arrested uh, Tanyam, the sector was aware of that. Avant they uh, fled into the jungle Tanyam, and they brought uh, together with them weaponry uh, and uh, hid uh, themselves uh, in the jungle. Well, my, my question was: question. Did you or others know that before cadres of the southwest zone were coming to the northwest zone. Saviez que les cadres du sud-ouest allaient venir Sorry, dans uh, la zone nord. I will rephrase. Did you know it beforehand? Le, so before they came from Phnom Penh, did you know that they de Phnom Penh, would be coming? Saviez-vous qu'ils allaient venir? The uh, arms and weaponries that they actually uh, uh, hid in the forest uh, were done before uh, the arrival of the southwest zone cadres. Is it then correct, Mr. Witness, that the proposition of the prosecution that these weapons were there? Que ce que propose l'accusation, à savoir que les armes étaient là pour vous protéger des cadres du Sud-Ouest, n'était pas correct, car les pommes vous ne saviez pas qu'ils allaient venir. Non, before the arrival of the Southwest uh, Zone cadres in Sector 5, avant l'arrivée des cadres du Sud-Ouest dans le Sector 5,
I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I heard the answer. Um, but I'll, I'll move on because I have many other questions. Chose, yeah. Yeah. I'll move on, um, Mr. Witness. Um, Je vais passer à autre me, chose, Monsieur le Témoin. Um, turn to uh, the question of currency and money. Um, de la now you, before the lunch break, um, answered the question as Avant to when you saw the currency or when this currency was issued, you said vous um, quand vous aviez vu two months la before the Vietnamese arrived. Vous avez répondu que c'était deux mois avant l'arrivée de Now we all know that the Vietnamese tous arrived and 78 beginning uh, 79. Sont en 78. However, in your uh, statement to DCCAM, you said it was Tanim Mais yourself uh, issued the currency. And we all know that Tanim, mis, uh, Tanim was arrested in May 78. Um, and you also said in your statement that uh, soon after the issue of this currency, some cadres were being arrested. Now is it, and that would be sometime in May or June 78. Um, is it possible that you are mistaken uh, that the issue that the currency was issued in fact in the beginning of 1978? Nobody actually knew about the, uh, the, the notes, even the villagers, and only the soldiers, uh, only a soldier who brought in the, the banknote knew about it, and I asked him to see what it looked like. And uh, he showed that to me and that we would get wage in the form of uh, the uh, currency. And that's money. how I, I saw the uh, note. The note voir ce billet. had the peasants working in the field and the peasants carrying holes. Mr. Witness, before I, I go to ask you questions about how those notes look like, um, I want to ask you a question about who issued uh, this currency. Uh, you said earlier that it was the South and the South Cadres who issued these notes. Uh, in your statement, you said it was Tanim. Um, Tanim is, as we know, uh, chief of the North West Zone. So who was it that issued um, this currency? Was it the South West Zone Cadres or was it Tanim? Monet. Was it Tanim? Où étaient-ce les cadres de la zone sud-ouest so, Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, uh, you have the floor. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd, I'd just ask the question to be more specific. Issued, asking when or who issued the currency. Who issued the currency is rather vague. Issued, uh, issued, issued, asking when or who issued currency is rather vague. There's two different things here. Who originally printed this currency? Uh, or uh, is he asking who was giving it to the soldiers? Those are two different things. So I've just asked counsel to be uh, more specific in his question. Uh, I, I agree that the term issues may be a little um, uh, the word. Um, yeah. um, I'll, I'll use another word. When, when was it that Tanim gave the currency to the soldiers. Um, when did the soldiers, when did you see uh, these banknotes? I saw the banknote in late 1977. However, allow me to clear, uh, to provide you a clear event that I did not know how that soldier got the bank note and he only showed us one bank note. Um, I, know, I now know again why I used the word issued um, um, instead of gave. Uh, let me, in this respect, read, Mr. President, an excerpt from uh, the witness statement and then ask um, if that's correct. 
that is um, his own statement before DC Chem E3 slash 9060, English ERN 0728746. And Khmer ERN 0073051. Um, there's first a question about a Chinese diplomat being murdered. I get to that as well. And then this, uh, then you say, uh, no, Tanim did not know about it. He planned to reform society. Oh, says the interviewer. Uh, and then you say he planned to get people Ensuite, to do business, and that's why the currency, currency was printed. Oh, he was printing the money so that Il people could buy products from the cooperatives. Um, so, so, Mr. Witness, in your own statement, you talk about Tanim printing the money in order to uh, have people do business again. Does that refresh your memory? He said that uh, business will be re uh, reorganized again in the cooperatives and that uh, banknotes would be circulated. And that the upper echelon would give a salary to soldiers. And in, it is my understanding that the upper echelon referred to the Nyum and those who worked in Phnom Penh. But did you hear yourself say? Uh, did you hear yourself, uh, Tanim, say that he um, was giving money to soldiers and the people in the cooperatives? Dire que Tanim donnait de l'argent aux soldats et aux gens dans les coopératives. I only heard from my other colleagues, these people who were in, in the same position as mine, but the announcement was not yet uh, made by the senior level. Uh, let me read another excerpt, Mr. Witness, from your statement, um, English ERN 00728739 and Khmer 00733042 and 043. I saw that's what you say, the currency with my own eyes. We talked amongst the soldiers. A private would get 25 reels, and those in higher ranks got from 30 to 50. The currency disappeared sometimes. The currency was seen locally, yes, issued locally. One month after it was issued, the arrests of the Easterners were heard about. First, there were arrests in the Eastern Zone. When the Eastern Zone arrests happened, Tanim understood the situation, and that's why he told Tahun to mobilize troops and fled to the forest. The intention was to fight against the Southwesterners, against Takio, but Tamok took action first. Tamok was fast and got him to a meeting. Question. That means the currency had arrived in Phnom Rock? Yes. Question. Did you see that currency? Yes, I saw the currency. It had the sign of a cow and a plow. Question. That must be Lonol's currency with the sign of a cow and a plow. You answer, no, 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 not currency from the old regime. The currency had a bronze color and it was this big. What did you see written on it? Cow. Now, I'm not talking about the writing. Was Lonol or Democratic Kampuchea written or what? I did not notice the writing. I noticed a picture of a person wearing a scarf on their head. Mr. President, um, 
I would like to show the witness with your leave. Monsieur le Président, um, avec votre autorisation, j'aimerais uh, montrer copy au témoin une copie uh, en couleur banknotes, both d'un from, billet uh, de banque regime and banknotes which were intended to be used uh, in DK in the DK regime. In the case file there is a um, document E190.1.404 it's a page from a book of an author, Margaret Slocum. It's called An Economic History of Cambodia in the 20th Century. However, these are black and white pages in that book of um, the currency, and we have um, produced a color version of these notes. I have for all parties and for the chamber um, uh, a colored version of the banknotes, and I would like to show them to the witness and ask if he recalls what he has seen um, when he talks about this currency. President, the Deputy Co-Prosecutor, do you have the floor? President, Co-Procureur, Adjoint, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, I think this issue could have been uh, notified at least by email um, so that we had a chance to look at what it is the Council wants to represent um, was the uh, printed currency of the Khmer Rouge versus the com printed uh, currency of the uh, uh, La Nol regime, um, if he wants to provide it to us and come back to this issue after the break, we can we can look at it. Um, uh, if if this is legitimate, uh, these are legitimate representations. This might be useful, um, but I think the parties need to have an opportunity to examine this before council starts using it with witnesses. I have no problem at all to, uh, uh, to give the chamber and the parties um, both the ERN black and white version and the color version and then get back to it after the break. I have no problem. President, Judge Laverne, you have the floor. Coppé, puis-je vous demander pourquoi Mr. Coppé, cela vient à la dernière minute. May I ask you why? N'était-il pas possible de préparer the last minute? L'idée ne vous est pas venue subitement. Couldn't you have prepared for this? Je pense qu'il était tout à fait possible de préparer une demande, puisque semble-t-il, cette planche de billet sera un nouveau document qu'il faudra qu'elle change et c'est au dossier. Il me semble que la procédure pour le nouveau document est connue depuis bien longtemps. Et j'aimerais savoir pourquoi vous n'avez pas lancé à présenter une requête un petit peu à l'avance, ne serait-ce qu'effectivement pour qu'on puisse savoir de quoi il s'agit. Nous avons mis sur l'interface ce document avec les pages en noir et blanc. Et nous avons pensé que ce serait très utile parce qu'il n'y a qu'une seule page. Nous avons pensé que ce serait très utile parce qu'il n'y a qu'une seule page. Maître Copé, avez-vous mis sur l'interface les pages avec les billets en couleur Parce que ce ne sont pas les mêmes billets. Les pages de banknotes couleurs, parce que nous ne parlons pas des mêmes banknotes. Uh, well, I've never actually put anything myself on the interface, but I understand that something, if it's not on the case file, you cannot put it on the interface. Um, so that's technically not possible. Um, however, uh, I think I'm doing the same thing you did earlier in case 2-1, uh, Judge Duvernier, when you were showing uh, witness Al Rockoff photos that you had downloaded from the internet, so basically doing the same thing. Um, and I think um, the banknotes are on the case file, just only in black and white, and I thought it would be helpful to show a color version. 
à l'avenir, c'est peut-être bon de respecter les règles et de suivre les procédures qui sont prévues pour verser au dossier des nouveaux documents. But like I said, that's technically not possible because this is not on the case file. So, uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'm, I'm happy to give the color version uh, of uh, the black and white here and uh, to the parties, and then I could uh, revisit the issue after the break. President, yes, and you may proceed with your uh, line of questioning. President, oui, vous pouvez poursuivre votre interrogatoire. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Witness, uh, on a few occasions Monsieur you have um, provided a reason for the arrests of people like Daval. Tamon, Tahun, and you said that they were arrested because they were traitors. They had betrayed Ankar. Um, what exactly do you mean with the word treason? What was considered to be treason? The deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Um, I think counsel has misstated the witness's testimony. The witness, the witness didn't say uh, that he believed they were traitors. The witness said that the southwest zone accused them of being traitors. That's a, that's a rather big difference, and I think counsel has to take that into account in his questioning. I have no problem in reformulating. Um, Mr. Witness, um, you testified that Daval and others were arrested because they were accused of being traitors. Did you hear at the time um, what it was that they had allegedly done um, in order for the southwestern cadres to call them traitors? Qu'est-ce que l'on pensait qu'ils avaient commis pour être taxés de traîtres par les cadres de la zone sud-ouest? They accused uh, Taval of being traitors, and actually the accusation applies to the whole group, that is to the Northwest uh, group, and I was wondering what they, uh, what they meant when they accused us of uh, being traitors. For me, I did not understand at the time. I did not know about the policy of this uh, latter group. Let me read an excerpt, Mr. Witness, from your statement. Um, uh, you were asked a question about Eastern Zone Forces, vous des au sujet des forces um, de la zone est. and in your DC Camp statement, that Et is on e English ERN 0072874848 and Khmer 0073304, you, you said as follows, yes? Because the Eastern Zone was about to flee to the forest in order to join forces with the Northwest. The friendship between these two zones was meant to crush the Southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. That included conducting business among cooperatives. What you said there to the investigators, is that somehow um, connected, maybe, um, with the accusation of treason, or you don't know? Um, 
on the accusation accusation by the Southwest Group. I uh, did not know the, the reason. I only knew that uh, people talked that the Southwest Group would come to take over the Northwest Group as the Northwest Group was accused of being traitors. But have you have you ever heard um, whether the treason uh, allegedly committed by uh, the Northwest Zone troops together with the East Zone troops consisted of um, starting an armed rebellion, um, take over power from the center, maybe even issuing new currencies. Um, all this uh, was that what the treason was about? Do you remember? The accusation of treason was about. President, Deputy Co Prosecutor, do you have the floor? I, I think Council was clarifying his question at the end, but I think it's important that. Uh, if he's asking this question, um, he's asking whether he was ever provided with specifics um, by the Southwest Zone cadres or someone else as to the basis for the, the treason. That, if that's, if that's a qu the specific question, I think it's fine if he's trying just to fish uh, and put words in the mouth of the witness, then I think he's, it's, the question is leading. I'm in good company, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Um, uh, but I think I uh, changed my question at the very last moment. Um, the starting of an armed rebellion, collection of arms in the forest, uh, mobilizing of troops, uh, issuing of new currency, establishing of markets, etc. Were these things that you ever heard? Um, when you heard about the accusations, were these the accusations um, of the Southwest Zone cadres? I only heard about the accusations that the Southwest accused que le sud the Northwest group of being traitors, and that's uh, I only heard about it. C'est tout ce que j'ai entendu. Je n'ai qu'entendu cela. And about uh, two months after I heard about it, the Deux Southwest group arrived. Cela, le groupe du sud -ouest est arrivé. And that's uh, when Tanyam and his group uh, started to disappear. But Mr. Witness, you Question. yourself Monsieur have been Témoin, fighting against Southwestern Zone forces. Can you really not recollect uh, what the substantial basis was for the accusation of treason? Have you never heard anything like that? Deputy Co Prosecutor, do you have the floor? Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, President. This is repetitive. He's asked this a number of times. The witness has told him what he what he was told, and has told him that's all all he knows. Uh, to keep asking him and to suggest as if there was some court process in which it was uh, people were actually, charges were actually publicly announced. Uh, we all know that's not the case, so I think the question is repetitive. The witness has told them uh, what he knows already. Um, I'll, I'll move on. Um, uh, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Witness, you, s you also spoke in your statement to DC Cam about the murder of a Chinese diplomat, or at least that you heard a rumor about this. Uh, what is it that you recall about that?
I heard the sector soldiers uh, saying that the North West group actually killed uh, that the Chinese, and for that reason they were accused of being traitors. But personally, I never saw any Chinese coming to the North West zone. Have you heard what would be what would what would have been a possible reason for the murder? of a Chinese diplomat by Northwestern Zone troops. I was not aware of that at the time. Let me revisit uh, the issue that was just objected to, um, and let me Question, formulate it differently, Mr. President. Uh, I will read, Mr. Witness, a small témoin, paragraph which I just read earlier as well to you from your statement, uh, 00728748 in English, ERN, Khmer 00733055. The friendship between the Eastern Zone and the, and the Northwest Zone was meant to crush the Southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. Now, Mr. Witness, these are your words. What exactly do you mean to crush the Southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. That was the reason for the friendship of these two zones. What is it that you mean? When the East and the North was grouped uh, joined hand, Upon hearing the accusation made by the Southwest, and the East Zone came to discuss the matter with the Northwest, and that's how it happened. But your statement is the friendship between these two zones was meant to crush the Southwest to extinction in order to re-establish the revolution. What then did you mean with the words to re-establish the revolution? said anything about establishing a revolution, what I said at the time was that the, the two zones collaborated with one another after there was an accusation that a, the Chi a Chinese was murdered. That's the limit of my knowledge. But in your statement to the DCCAM, you, you, uh, you elaborated on re-establishing the revolution because you say that included conducting business among cooperatives. What does that mean? The North West uh, group actually wanted to turn the society around so that people would have uh, adequate means of living and to re-establish uh, businesses at the cooperative level with this uh, bartering system or exchanges. 
And later on, the matter came to the awareness of the Southwest group, and they came to take control and arrest those uh, Northwest countries. They accused the Northwest country of uh, being traitors. Did you hear Taval ever speak about uh, re-establishing revolution, crushing the Southwest zone cadres? By that time, I was no longer uh, with Taval. I was reassigned to work uh, with the Phnom Sraok district uh, military. And in fact, I learned about that from Tana, who uh, relayed such information to his subordinates. We were uh, told that uh, they will restructure the cooperative so that there are uh, Will be there will be a market, and that wages will be given to soldiers and to all cadres across the field. I might get back to that, uh, Mr. Witness. Let me go to another subject um, that is in your um, possible conversations that you had yourself with Southwest um, zone cadres. Did you ever talk to women, female cadres, um, coming from the Southwest zone? I had a, an argument with a female named Nghet from the Southwest Zone. She was chief of cooperative of the Pine Cooperative. Actually, I went up to her house and I forgot to take off my shoes. And then the Southwest group um, arrested me and wanted to uh, send me away to be killed. And at 12, AM, I actually resisted their arrest. I fought them back using my old, my traditional martial arts. I fought them off and then I fled up to the mountain, Renibre Mountain. Then about 2 a.m. that early morning, I left uh, Prenipre Mountain and returned to my native village. I think you've, you've, said, you've told that story already, but um, did you also like, um, as a man, women from, <coughs> sorry, women from the southwest zone? So. Et en tant qu'homme, aimez-vous les femmes de la zone sud-ouest No, I uh, never liked uh, them. Uh, after all, I did not know them. And in addition, the Southwest Zone cadres alleged uh, the Northwest Zone cadres as the traitors. Uh, allow me to maybe refresh your memory a little bit, Mr. Witness. Um, in which we are M0728745, Question. Question. How many Southwesterners did you know? Can you give their names? De personnes du Sud-Ouest connaissiez-vous? I know some. Réponse. I was quite flirty. En fait, moi, j'aimais oh. bien draguer. I was flirty, and at that time, it meant many wives. Et ça voulait dire beaucoup yes. de femmes. During that time, I was single and I was talking. Oui, à l'époque, j'étais célibataire et j'aimais bien parler. Does that refresh your memory? Est-ce que ça vous rappelle la mémoire, Monsieur Tibo? I knew the uh, Southwest uh, Zone uh, lady by the name of Ned. Ta. Jun. Jun.
and I have uh, forgotten some of their names. Uh, these are the names that I can recall. Voilà les noms de dont je me and uh, do you remember when you were being flirty with a southwestern female cadre, whether you were uh, doing conversations? Du uh, what the reason was? Vous -vous de vos conversations? Vous um, -vous for the arrest of cadres like Taval? Des sujets de conversation? The president. This question is not relevant. Could you please uh, reformulate your question so that it is relevant to the topic? I will leave the flirty thing out. Um, sorry. Um, when you spoke to Southwest Zone, Female cadres. Did you ever hear conversations? Reasons for the arrests of the cadres like Tabal. Entendu parler des de l'arrestation, des motifs de l'arrestation de cadres comme Tabal. No, I never heard uh, of it. Uh, they generalized at the time when people alleged the Northway zone as traitors. Uh, they generalized that everyone was traitor in the Northwest zone. Uh, Mr. President, I'm. Monsieur le Président. I think I'm uh, through most of my questions except the ones in relation to uh, the money. Sauf pour les questions portant sur la monnaie. Maybe this would be a. Good moment to Je have a break and then return. Le moment est opportun pour la pause et que nous pouvons After the break with questions on the money. Revenir et au retour, j'aurai des questions sur la monnaie. So moi, encore le ministre. Le président. Merci, Merci maître. Thank you, counsel. The time is now appropriate for uh, La chambre va suspendre l'audience. Uh, the chamber adjourns now and pour resume at 3 p.m. Pour la pause de la nous reprendrons à 15 heures. Court officer, please uh, assist the witness uh, during uh, the break and his uh, duty counsel as well. And following the break, uh, please uh, have them back in this courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now adjourned.